Yeah, well, you already know that Top Gun Maverick is a huge hit, but you might not know that an Atlanta native played a big part in helping Tom Cruise soar in the new film. We're talking about Commander Frank J. Weiser, who does some of the incredible flying you see in the action flick. Good day, Lettuce. Paul Milliken joins us live this morning, and Paul, it turns out it's this decorated pilot still calls Georgia home. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Up in Raven County, up in the mountains. So at least any time you and I want to go flying, I'm sure he would be happy to take us up. I don't know that I can handle seven G's or whatever it is that they're doing in the movie, but, you know, we'll talk about that a little bit later. Yeah, we're talking about Commander Frank Weiser, just a really good guy. He's a graduate of North Springs High School right here in Sandy Springs. Many of you may know him or remember him growing up. He also is a graduate of the U.S. Naval Academy and says he never really intended to be a pilot. He just wanted to serve his country. However, he had skills that lined up with being a pilot. So the cockpit called and eventually... So did Hollywood. Good morning, aviators. This is your captain speaking. The flying was, it wasn't dangerous. It was what we do every day. And so the, the liaison for the movie went to a lot of trouble to find the experts in every field. And what I mean by that is the person who was in charge of aircraft carrier landing and takeoff training was the one who flew the scene with Tom taking off the aircraft carrier. And the people that our Top Gun instructors for dogfighting are the people who flew with the movie stars for the dogfighting scenes. Mm. And the reason I was involved is because as a Blue Angel, I've done so many air shows at really low altitudes that the scenes where they needed airplanes at uh, abnormally low altitudes, they used me for. There was a scene that's gotten a lot of attention in the previews with an airplane really low over the desert, just kicking up dust in the background. Yeah. And that's at an altitude that you'd never normally fly. Even as naval fighter pilots, when you're down low, 200 feet is about as low as you go. And so to be much, much lower, you know, to be at 10% of that altitude or something would be um, a case where you need to have someone who does it a lot. So you develop a, a comfort level and a precision with doing it r routinely. And yeah. so they did go out of their way to find someone who'd done it a great deal. And I was just in the right place at the right time. I have to admit, I wasn't expecting an invitation back. They're called orders, Maverick. Tom Cruise and the cast and crew, how were they to work with? I flew with Tom Cruise a lot, and I flew with uh, Glenn Powell a time or two as well. And then I flew in a section, we call it, when you were with two other airplanes, um, with Miles Teller in the backseat of one of the other Top Gun instructors. Tom flies a lot personally, so he's really strong in the airplane. Uh, it, that's important for me, because when the passenger's really strong like he was, it means that there's no limit to what we can do with that airplane. I've been traveling, as you know, and I can speak to the fact that this movie really is making a global impact. What does it feel like to be part of something like that? It's overwhelming, actually. It's uh, just really rewarding, and I'm grateful that the movie has had the impact it has. I initially just was hopeful and optimistic that the Navy would benefit from it and that all of us who contributed to it would be able to sort of pay it forward for the future of naval aviation. But to see what it's doing in our country, especially, and it's, it's a feel-good movie. It came at the right time, and um, I, I've heard only resoundingly good feedback, and it, I'm really pleased. Not even him. Yeah, it continues to break box office records. This movie is huge. So Commander Weiser says overall he filmed for a couple of months. It started really in the fall of 2018 and ended in the summer of 2019 off and on. He does a lot of the flying in the film. We'll talk more about that coming up in the next hour. But Elise, I thought what was so telling is that, you know, when we watch the movie and we see the flying, we think like, I can't believe people are doing this. Like this seems so incredible. But he says, this is what they do every day day as a blue angel and as a instructor he was a flight instructor for the u.s navy he's like this is stuff we do every day that's why they called us to do it so as he mentioned in the piece it wasn't dangerous for them it was just stuff that they do all the time but boy do they make it look amazing on film right they do <laughs> they do make it look amazing and if that doesn't make you want to like jump into one of those paul and and take off with them i don't know what will i mean it it, it makes me really know i need to go see right. the movie too i've heard it's really really good have you checked it out yet well, and the thing is, you know, it's, 
interesting that you said that really quickly it, because he says he really does hope that this movie inspires the next generation of people to serve their country through naval aviation. He said it's been such a great way for him to serve his country and to make a living. So he hopes it does inspire people to jump in the cockpit and to do what he does and maybe be the next generation of top guns out there. Have I seen the movie? No, I've been traveling, as you know, so I haven't seen it yet. I will see it as soon as uh, as soon as I can. I cannot wait. I am so excited to yeah. see it. I, I have only heard people say that they liked it better than the original, like Ooh. uniformly. And when do you hear that about a sequel? When? Wow, that's the thing. You never hear that. So that's pretty yeah. telling right there. All right. When, no. when, you're, when you're back and they all of that, we got it. We got to make it. sure we go together and check this out, Paul. <laughs> you got it. All right. Thank you.